this is different. This is different up here. I'm hoping some of the cameras are doing this justice. But this is different. You are way up up here. Right, ladies and gents, now time to try out this cargo T740 Telehandler from uh, Fent and uh, Senneborgen. And, well, first thing, let's go up in the world, literally. So, we've got the foot pedal down here, big red button, and just give it a tap, and up we go. So, we're up about, what are we? Probably about uh, 18 inch above the diesel tank, that gap that we saw earlier in the walk round so we'll start sort of conservatively in terms of the height and see well we'll see what it's like so as we said before uh, in the uh, the little walk round bit this is a bit of a first impression piece i have never had a go on one of these these uh, these uh, telehandlers before this is you could say this is the first time i've seen one of these in the wild since it was originally launched sort of back in the uh, 2019 so we'll see how we get on uh, particularly with this machine's party piece which is this uh, raising cab but already you kind of feel like you're sort of literally you're on top of the machine looking down on it and I've not really got the cab that high yet and the first time I saw this machine I thought what what the hell is Fent playing at you know, adding a machine like that to its portfolio. Because initially, when you first look at it, you think, oh, well, that cab's just there. It's a bit of a gimmick just for that extra visibility. It's a nice selling point. Uh, and, you know, why don't they just stick a camera on at the end of the boom? But actually, after today, and after the really good walk around from Peter, this machine, really does actually start to make sense a lot of sense because as we talked about in the walk round the whole sort of design philosophy on this machine from Senneborgen is they can actually put the boom exactly where they want it they can put the pivot points where they want it they can keep the boom all central and to then get around the visibility issue they've gone well We'll just use technology that we're already used to with our big materials handling machines and we'll stick a raising cab on it. And it works! It does, it really does work. Now, this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, this, this sort of type of telehandling. Definitely not. It's going to be quite, particularly in the UK and Ireland, it's going to be a bit of a niche product, but you can certainly see it fitting in in you know on certain farms within certain businesses that do want really big bulk materials handling whether that be grain or uh, or on an ad plant where you are you know you've got to feed those hungry digesters and overall sort of the kind of customer i can see, sort of see it appealing to is those that want the bulk handling characteristics of a wheeled loading shovel but with that extra lift, uh, reach height that you get with a telehandler and also the extra sort of versatility that you get with a telehandler as well. I honestly thought when I jumped on this today, I thought, oh my God, how are we going to get on with this? But it just, it actually feels quite natural, unbelievably. I've only been on here for... I've only been on here as long as you've been watching me being on here and that's what, that's literally less than five minutes. And it feels all right, it feels grand. I mean, having the cab just up a bit, 
I mean, we're about this high up so far. And you can just feel it just sort of floating around. It's like, it gives you a real nice bit of suspension, I've got to say. So I think what we'll do now is, we'll get a little bit braver. And we will take the cab up just that little bit more. See what it's like. Should we go to the top? Let's go to the top. Let's go to the other extreme. So let's go right up. Up we go. Oh, wow. I'm going to get a nosebleed up here. This is... Now, this does feel... This is where it feels... This is different. This is different up here. I'm hoping some of the cameras are doing this justice. But this is different. You are way up up here. Now, I think for a lot of handling jobs, you might not want to be up here. But if you are loading big bulk tippers and you want to see over the sides, well, this is the place to be. Right up here. This is unreal. I'm literally looking down on the machine. I'm looking down at the spreader they're about to put this into. It feels weird though because every sort of rock of the machine up here is amplified a little bit. Now up here, this is, gets quite interesting because your mirrors, obviously you can't look across and see your mirror on the right hand side, but what you can do is you look over the bonnet and you can actually see the back right hand corner of the telehandler. But if you were loading grain, like big bulkers, big bulk arctic tippers all day long, this is the place to be up here, I tell you. I think you could soon get the sensation that you might be falling over. Like I say, you feel every little, every little bit of sort of undulation on the yard. I mean, this yard is spot on. It's absolutely flat as a pancake, but you can feel it up here. It's, it's, yeah, I think what we'll do, and like when, like when I dived into this, this mucky, then I felt the cab come down a bit and that's a little bit unsettling, especially when you've never felt that before. But I think what we'll do is, we'll go down a bit, so I'll just sit down a bit. In fact, we'll go somewhere in the middle, about there. But back to my original point, where I thought this wasn't going to be the most pleasant experience, is actually turned out to be, it's an eye-opener. I think that's the best way of describing it. It's an absolute eye-opener. But even at this height, I could just look down at that mirror, and I could see down my right hand side there. So actually, you know, I could see down there, and then I can see me back corner over here. Anyway, I think that's enough on the old visibility chat. Let's talk about some, well, let's talk about the key bits that make a tally handler, the actual performance of it. Granted, this is only, it's a bit of a play today. We're not getting too serious today. We've just come along to uh, try things out, see what it's like. But I've got to say, just from the outset, looking at this machine that's, you know, built by Senneborgen, you can tell that them boys are used to building machines that have to take some hammer, that have to take some pain. There is some, there's some beef in this machine, some serious beef. I mean, you can just tell that by looking at the welds, looking at the pins, looking at the bushes. And it looks like it could handle a lot in terms of workload. I mean, on these waste plant sites, they're working them down near 24 seven, three, eight hour shifts. So they've got to be able to take that pain. 